Bioinformatics is a field that utilizes software tools for the analysis of large sets of complex biological data. It combines the fields of biology and information technology to achieve goals that are otherwise difficult or even impossible. Scientists in this field rely on software tools to perform their research, but unfortunately, many of these tools are simply not easy to use. Just getting them installed and keeping them maintained can be a time-consuming challenge that takes away resources that could be better spent on actual research and analysis. Application containerization is a technology concept where an application and all of its dependencies are packaged into a single monolithic file. Since the application within the container is already set up and configured, there is nothing the user needs to do in order to prepare the application for use. After the file is installed, the user ins interacts with it as they would any other installed application. This doesn't just simplify the installation and setup process, it all but eliminates it. It is felt that the use of containerization could be used to ease the burden on bioinformatics scientists and allow them to focus on their work and not on software maintenance matters. The Kennesaw State University Department of Molecular and Cellular Biology has been working with student teams from the College of Computing and Software Engineering over the course of several semesters exploring how to leverage this technology. In this semester, our team focused on exploring the current state of the application containerization industry and looked at the options that were available for us. After researching the available solutions, we've selected the three best candidates for our purposes, AppImage, Flatpak, and Snap. We ran a series of side-by-side -side trials to compare each of these for usefulness and to identify their challenges. The results. AppImage was the clear winner for our purposes. AppImage, unlike the other systems, did not require any special software be installed or configured. For the administrators, it was the easiest to work with, and once the AppImage system was generally understood, a new application could be packaged within just a few minutes. For the users, AppImage was likewise easy to work with requires no special skills, permissions, or commands for them to use an app image container. Just download the container and go. Flatpak was more complicated to work with, both in terms of packaging and use. It does come with some beneficial features, including automatic updating and increased security controls. And while, bo while both of these have significant value, they come into trade-off in complexity during the packaging phase. Installing a Flatpak application requires software tools already be installed on the user's computer and that the user execute a very specific set of installation commands. Leveraging the additional features also requires a centralized host to act as an application repository, necessitating a server and personnel to administrate it. Snap, while popular, proved to be the worst of the three solutions. It was more complex than Flatpak and required more overhead, while providing nothing meaningful in the way of additional features. The primary benefit of SNAP is that it does have strong industry support and that much of the end-user supporting components are pre-installed on several of the most common Linux distributions. Where to go from here? The next steps in the greater project are now to move from research and consideration and push towards operationalization. It's known now what is needed to make an app image work for these tools. The next team needs to look now at applying this knowledge to the library of tools used by research scientists. This was a project driven by our own researchers here at Kennesaw State University, but the challenges they face are not unique. The solutions that we're, we develop here have the potential, eventually, to be far-reaching across not just bioinformatics, but across similar computer-aided research disciplines.